Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a beer by The Brewery. Uh, they're out of Placentia, California. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's where they're out of. This is their Orchata, which is a take on, I guess it's an homage kind of to the the uh, drink Horchata, which is a Latin drink, um, become pretty popular in California as well. Uh, I've never had horchata before, but I know what's in it, and I've seen it, and I've seen people drink it on TV, actually. Uh, we don't get it out here. I'm on the East Coast. It's not a thing. But I know it's made with, like, tiger nuts sometimes, sesame seeds, stuff like that. So by seeing the consistency of it and knowing what's in it, I can guess what it's like. But basically, this is kind of their homage to horchata, and this is a blonde ale that's aged, that's done with rice, and then has vanilla beans and cinnamon added to it. So, sounds interesting, sounds like it could be very tasty, uh, and it is 7.2% alcohol. So, oh, it's like, if you're familiar with the brewery, it's kind of like all their labels. Their labels are, you know, usually close to the same shape. But, let's see. It'll be interesting to see if they're like, creamy characteristics in it because I believe what I know of horchata it looks like it is a creamy drink so I, I would be interested to know if they have like a creamy aspect uh, very orange very clear maybe a little bit of like a haziness from the cold uh, nice white head to it Let me swirl it up and okay um, definitely get the vanilla coming through and the cinnamon which is quite nice um, get that blonde blonde ale type smell very crisp refreshing I don't know what the what the rice particularly would smell like in this so I'm gonna say I can't pick out the rice but there is kind of like a creamy creamy aroma to it I feel like the the vanilla and the cinnamon melding together are kind of making it smell like it could be kind of a, a creamy type beer but it smells very interesting it's actually not in a bad way, but it has a little bit of kind of like a Pepto Bismol type smell on the end of the aroma. Kind of weird. Get plenty of that cinnamon right off the bat. Obviously, get some of the vanilla, but it's more of like cinnamon up front, vanilla on the back of it. Ooh, the van vanilla actually really lingers on the tongue. And that kind of gives it. It does give it a tad bit of a creamy aspect to it um, because that, that vanilla just like l really lays right on your tongue. Mm. Finishes blonde ale-ish um, with like a nice crisp clean note. Very light but with that little bit of creaminess. Um, a little bit of a, of a hay aspect to it as well. Not tasting the Pepto-Bismol that I was smelling in it so very happy about that. I wouldn't go wild over this beer. I think it's a good beer, and for what they were trying to do, I'm assuming it was done well because, like I said, I've not had horchata before, but it tastes interesting to me, and it's interesting enough for me to keep going back. I feel like the cinnamon is maybe a tad bit more than I would want up front, but then it kind of dissipates pretty quick, and the vanilla is what I'm really liking, and the way the vanilla builds up toward the end, and it just kind of like lays on your palate for a while really enjoying that vanilla so pretty decent beer yeah i'll continue to drink this i'll enjoy this i wouldn't go wild over it i wouldn't say this is a must-have or anything but if you already have a bottle you'll be fine with it um if you like what you hear about it then you should go get some but other than that pretty good job the brewery uh, i like what you guys do typically so thanks everyone for joining me thanks the brewery for making interesting beers and Go grab yourself a interesting beer to sip on tonight.